There really isn't much in this biome. F oh, there we go. There's a ferro seed. That's one more ferro seed than we got on the incense day for it. It begins with J. 2104 is the lucky. Let's go, number. dude. Schlundo, because you actually got a Schlundo in New York. Yep, soon. Yeah. Yes, welcome in everybody. Hope that you're good. It is time for Global Go Fest and biome number one with these beautiful petals and flowers of confetti. There is actually only one thing from this biome that we need, which is the Pikachu, but we will have research to do as well as some collection challenges. So there we go, a shadowy keeper, I guess it is. There's rolling research. I saw Jay-Z Valor in there. Did we get in the pictures somewhere? Are we in the pictures? Yes, there's our group from Times Square. Fantastic. So down here, collection challenge. We need, oh, we have to catch one of everything. Dawn Meadow. Right, let's just see what, if anything, is going to sparkle. Because honestly, the goal for today is to get Hundo, Legendary and Ultra Beast checks. That is the plan. But we're going to see what happens to shine for us. The goals are Pikachu and Jang Moo. And uh, we have been raiding a little bit last night. Thank you, everybody, who sent through invites land down under and all that good jazz. Something else is quite good is that during this event, it seems that all of the Pokemon that have had previous community days, which are featured in the GoFest as spawns, get their exclusive moves, which means you can get a brutal swing on your Hydreigon, which is a really, really nice little touch. Yeah, let me know in the comments below, what are you chasing through this GoFest and actually how your day one went? I hope you had a smashing time wherever you were playing from. We're beginning here in Ealing, while pop up with the local crew. Great turnout, but we're then gonna head over to Kensington Gardens to join up with Ian Waterfall, Stars, and Francesco and Dwayne and all that jazz. Ferris Seed Hoot, of course, who didn't catch. I'm actually gonna hold off in a Crosma race, but we've got an unknown on incense that's the G that is not shiny. Those are gonna be very hard to come by during the global event. Unknown, okay, if unknown's gonna be that common off of incense, I will have it, thank you. Community ambassador, lovely stuff. I'm very excited to trek over to Kensington Gardens because the uh, extra stops and gyms are in play there which is uh, always a very welcome thing and absolutely fantastic that's been implemented those are all uh they're all for berries and stage two we've got to do some berries and stuff okay simple simple times let's see what our first shiny is gonna be because we're five minutes in nothing but we are being quite selective on what we want right we've done our first party play challenge which should reward the Pikachu and that's well we've been looking for research level 402 let's spin the 30 stops and stuff we've got Necrozma raids coming out of our ears through invites and there is an Emolga which is really nice to see that Crab Brawler and Ducklet are boosted off of roots so that's why we're doing the roots now try and get that we've got the eggs to do as well which have been really good to us over the last five days is it anything we want not really Pikachu on incense the only biome we really need to pay attention to is the last one what's going on oh where did you get that from? Uh, just from research. Oh, nice. <laughs> Zerka Tree, who isn't excited for a Zerka Tree raid? Possibly the Australians. I don't know, but Nakeem, mm. what number are you getting, sir? 2229. That's not too bad. I got 2162, which is okay. just awful. Oh. Okay. Three, two, one, go. No. Beast Balls are active because 30 million raids were completed in the course of the week. Well done, everybody. But Beast Balls, if a Golden Raz is placed on, are a guaranteed catch, which is fantastic. And they look sensational, too. So, no catch card for it. This is a shame. The Hundo Ducklet from yesterday is getting a little bit of love. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Vince. Vince, there's a second circuit tree further down. But where? What? Why? Lamas Ellis. Well, I'm going for it. It's a raid day. Yeah. Go! <laughs> Dawn Meadows' first field research task, so we need to do some of these. And ducklet. It gives you a ducklet that isn't shiny. So I powered up a ducklet to get a non shiny, non hundo ducklet. Squat is good today, despite a lot of people going over to Kensington Gardens for the session instead. Wow. I mean, it's going up. No. That's worse than the one I had, yeah, the last time, <laughs> unfortunately. Obviously, 2249 is the magical number. Party challenge completed. It's giving us a non-shiny Pikachu, but it's not a hundo either. I love that. Here with Vince, our local ambassador, reminiscing about the IRL events. And finally, 24 minutes in, a lovely shiny Cottony is shiny. Numero uno for the day. There's a lot of us who went to these different IRL events. Vince has been to Sendai and Madrid. A couple of people oh, yeah. went to Madrid. We've been to New York, of course. All sparkles are good sparkles. That's the aim of the game today. And some hundo. Ultra well, Beast action. Hopefully Hundo <laughs> and Sparkles. Yeah, yes. That's, that's, that's what you want. <laughs> so we're basically going from raid to raid is how it's ending up, even though we're doing roots and things. Oh, I lost my unknown spawn. No matter. There are, there's a lot of things happening, but 
Those root spawns are seriously good, actually. So if you can get some root action going, this was one we so needed. We couldn't get this in New York, and that is one of the four Pikachu ticked off with the Sun Crown. Fantastic. Not from the party play, but 91 CP. That's the male Sun Crown in the bag. Jang Moo, bear in mind, it may be the new shiny now, and they're hyping it up and everything, but it will be. It's going to be the Community Day Mon for June 2025. So you'll be able to get, like Gumi this year. Honestly, this biome is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I kind of like the, the fact there's nothing, unless you're chasing ducklet specifically. There really isn't much in this biome. F oh, there we go. There's a ferro seed. That's one more ferro seed than we got on the incense day for it. It is a really good shiny, to be fair. A relaxed start, and I'm not too worried about what we're going to get today, unless we just need the Pikachus, and I'm happy. Anything else is a bonus. Ducklet on incense. Pidgey. I know Ian's going to be chasing the Pidgey in this hour. Oh, can you show that? Hey, can you show that? Because... Unknown shinies during the global event are notoriously rare. So and uh, you're funny, congrats. we have three global events, and I could get in the unknown shinies. <laughs> so delete his account, Niantic. <laughs> right, we're not raiding Blacephalon. No, no, no. There we go, we have the collection challenge to complete. Claim. Let's see what we're gonna get. Heat more. I would have thought it would have been Ducklet, but no matter. I'm seeing people getting shiny Buzzwalds to my right, which is fantastic. But we've got a batch of eggs going. We did disconnect the Go++. This will not only tick off three field research tasks to get our research special stuff going, but shiny Jangmoa from the eggs. Come on. We needed that one. Yes. Don't have to rave for it. Yes. <laughs> I can see who that's from because that will be name tagged if I can remember where the actual egg is from. Brilliant. Those eggs delivered. I'm going to keep hatching them. I'm going to keep going. The egg luck is solid on this one. Shiny Jang Moo. Brand new for, well, this week, technically. I've seen so many people hatching it. Big congrats if you've managed to get in. Obviously, this weekend is the time. It's a dead two star, but really nice for a lucky trade if anybody else around here has that. But the pink heart, the gold and everything, amazing. I mean, was anything else that good? In fact, where's it from? Sorry. Harrow. Oh, that's Nakeem's egg. I need to find Nakeem. <laughs> Right, let's get these three research tasks clicked off. Oh, it's the Espeon, so it's worthwhile, I'd say. Not shiny, but good chance for a Shundo from research, of course. Best opportunity, I would say. Not shiny. Now we can get through stage two of this special research, which for me will probably lead to just shiny ducklet from special. What was it you were saying? Shiny ducklet's my new mon. <laughs> Come on, it's the new slack off for me. Just patience, patience and enjoy the day, and it will pay off. This is... 91 shiny, that is not bad at all. Check this. Is the <laughs> Dunsparce. That would have been another nice pink shiny to have. Reminiscing about Barcelona City Safari. Let's claim our two poffins because we actually have just got Reggie Gigas, the best buddy. The second biome, Shining Day, has now swung in, which means another collection challenge to do and a car to avoid being run over by. But it basically means you have to go and catch one of every single Pokemon. There's some good ones in this biome, actually. Done spots off incense? If that's boost, if that's here, I'm, I'm in for it. Jang Moa might be in this biome. Right, we managed to miss a Jang Moa that was on a... Are we serious? The Roserade didn't catch. That was a huge Fermantis. That will really work well in the Necrozma showcases. Please give us a Jang Moa. Okay, okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's not shiny. <laughs> Day research. That's a Jang Moo. What task was that? There was a task that gives us Jang Moo, and I, I don't know it. This is something else. Ducklet, that's from the previous biome. These were in Party Play. I made a mention of it earlier. Shiny Pikachu, and that is the Sun Crown female, which I think, if I'm remembering correctly, ticks off one of the shiny families for that, which is wonderful. And honestly, I think that's such a good addition, putting those in the party play. All the tasks give you encounters, so it encourages that feature. And I will say the route seems to be really good too. Spin 20 stops, sure. Corsola! I can't believe that somebody lost that to Go Plus. <laughs> so this shiny was released quite a while ago and it's had a few events, but shiny Heliopsal is definitely a fantastic shiny, no matter how many events it has been featured in. I remember it was the Charged Up Research Day in March, I believe, of this year, but it's a level one shiny off of Incense. And I know I plugged it yesterday, but I'm going to plug it again because it's our podcast. Incensed podcast is dropping episode 179 tomorrow and that will be available across all podcast platforms. And it is the live show. It's quite a big show. I think it's about an hour and 45 minutes. You can enjoy that while playing GoFest and 
live from New York. I still haven't evolved the shiny of that, that's actually jokes. One thing I will say when it comes to incense spawns is it seems the incense spawns for this GoFest are really good because it's the unknowns and the rarer stuff. I haven't seen very many or if any of the usual trash spawns, so I haven't seen an incensed Sunkern, for example. We are into the third biome and the first shiny is a lure spawn, but it's a gibble, which I may never say no to, but it is a bit more common than it used to be back in the day. I didn't realize I need a lot of Esper. I need two more Esper to get that family completed. And that is in this biome. So I won't mind chasing that a little bit, but it's also got the regionals in Lumise and uh, Volby in it, which isn't too bad. Why? But we have to catch one of everything, of course. Let's see the collection challenge. And there is a Pikachu, that's a rarity. Our collection challenge, oh my God, it's a bit of everything. Of course it is. One of the regionals from this biome, the orange shiny Illumise, fantastic. Lovely to pick that up, just as we're completing the collection challenge and dithering over doing a Celestina raid. <sighs> Can I bring myself to try and get the shiny with the catch card? I don't think so. This thing will be dead one star, but no problemo. Oh, Esper though, I need that thing to be pink way down at the bottom here. I'll take the incense back, thank you very much. And, a Durant. Not shiny, and it's not really featured in this biome either. That's an interesting one. All right, well, there's a Hundo Golet here, but we're going to speed through these eggs, see if we hatch anything shiny. Corsola, we're going to miss out on this Hundo, I think. It's been here for a long time. <laughs> Come on, Corsola. Maractus again. Come on, Ducklet. Is there going to be any sparkles in this egg pool at all? There's a back to back Emolga. Come on, come on, come on. Maractus, there. It's not shiny. Oof. Oh no, it's 279. I think we've missed it. <laughs> the rest of the group ran off to go and get a level one Hundo Volby, and uh, Marta got a Shundo. Shundo level one for it. So let's check our research task because we can get, oh, shiny Espeon from the research. That couldn't have timed out any better. It's not a Hundo, I'm fairly sure of that. Check two, because that was hatched three eggs. There's the regular Espeon. See, 1328 is significantly higher. We are ticking off stage three of this research finally after doing those eggs. So that's 24 great balls for hatching two eggs. Emolga from the research. Check. Crab. We still need that shiny. That's in the final biome of the four rotating. Cla oh. And claim the crab roller that failed to catch the first time around. Why crab? Oh my days. We can get through this stage here. Tick this off. It's going to be Mar Maractus? Okay. May it be a hunter. <laughs> Beaker! That needs to sparkle. We need the two moon crowns, and then honestly, we're A OK okay for this whole event. Akeem, Mr. PvP is not best pleased at my shiny luck right now. Phantom Shiny, we picked up three of those, I think, in New York, which, as I said, I love this shiny. This shiny is absolutely fantastic. So, what we'll do, we're gonna red ball it in an attempt to match those red leaves. I think I did that before as well. Caterpie with the header. And it broke out. Let's try the great throw. No, instantly out again. Okay, now we're not we're not taking any more chances on this one. We're gonna go for the ultra ball. Two and a half hours into the event, and this one is not a bad three star. I need 20 stardust <laughs> to complete that challenge. Are we serious? <laughs> Let's get stage four done and dusted. Some silver pineapps, a bit of star piece action, and an encounter with a Corsola, which would have been really nice. It's not bad, 93. Could be worse, as I always say. And this one will be, oh dear, that is bad, Volaby. Not even shiny. Not even like the Shundo, I saw someone reply to my ex post that they hatched. I finally found a Zerkatry raid, but look at this. There's another little ghost type shiny, Litwick. I am a big fan of Litwick, one of my favorite Pokemon, and that shiny is obviously fabulous too. So it's one of those things that I don't genuinely mind if we get more shinies of anything, to be honest. We'll happily tick anything off. Let me know what were you chasing for this global go fest. It's a dead zero star, but perfect for a random trade, to be honest. That's ticked off the research call. Cool. Stage five is done, and we're gonna get our Marsh Shadow candies. There's a Rockruff, not shiny. I don't know Research Hundo actually for that. But we'll catch it and we have Rockruff off incense. Honestly amazing, but let's get this done and dusted. And this should be, yep, research ticked off. And that that is research done. So now it's just hatch some eggs, catch some stuff. Honestly, during the raids, I might whack Go Plus Plus on for a bit. We've arrived in the final biome. The, what is it? It's not the darkest night, that's a Batman movie. Anyway, we've done the collection challenge for it because we're not messing about with timings or anything. So let's claim our incense back and an encounter with, God is literally vomit inducing, unless you're a PvPer, which you obviously know I am certainly not. Oh, party challenge complete. 
50% each. That's fabulous. Shiny. Shiny from the party challenge. I need that crown. Congrats, babe. Thank you. Right, we've got eight seven kilometer eggs because we're out of super incubators. So we're now onto the regular incubators. But I mean, ducks from eggs makes biological sense. Coarsel, on the other hand, makes very little sense. But if it could be shiny, that would be smashing. Cheng Moo, no, crab. I need a crab, come on. There's the Cheng Moo, but not shiny this time round. I need another egg from the Keem. Okay, ducks are plenty. That thing likes me. Just wants to be around me. Oh, no shinies that time round. Hatch three eggs. Bam, there's the Umbreon. Not sure of, oh, and the game crashed. I exited a research task, and it was like, Right, just before we finish the stream, thank you everybody for joining. We've got a batch of eggs before we're about to head over to Kensington Gardens now to finish the day over there, last couple of hours, and hopefully meet Ian and Newcombs, Francesco and Dwayne, etc. I just went lucky friends with Ash last night, which is perfect timing. Bring on some sparkles, please, Ducklers. <laughs> Come on, the Molga. I will hatch some more eggs, although we might be getting near the... Oh, buds, you shiny. There we go. Not the most amazing shiny in the world, but it is sparkly. There we go. It's also really bad IV. <laughs> I can tell that immediately. Hatching some eggs from the darkest nights and it's Umbreon. Right, before we jump on the tube over to Kensington Gardens, I was just clearing some research stack and the Umbreon and Espeons have just been seeing if they're shiny and then putting them in the stack. As it turns out, we've got a hundo. We have a hundo of the costume Espeon, which is one of the rarest, so I'm really pleased to have picked that up and added. And that's the first hundo of the day. We've arrived at Kensington Gardens with an Espeon. It's not shiny on the old incense. Invites are flying. But look, they've added a ton of extra gyms here, which is amazing, and a ton of extra stops. So you can just loop around that pond, but you can see special GoFest gyms dotted around, which is, I think, so amazing. The Stars was able to link up with Niantic and the Community Ambassador Program and improve this space specifically. But right now, I just want more Chang Moa because my eggs are done. So I need wild spawn ones or raids. The final seven kilometer eggs for the day, five of them, please let them have a shot. Jang Moo in them because the Jang Moo seems to be very, very not here. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh, that was a doggo. Maybe it was a Molga. Come on, two more eggs in Molga. So triple a Molga on the final five. And there's a Jang Moo, but not shiny. I have found the Vasa and the Francesco and the rest of the crew. Hello. 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 Lovely to see you both. Uh, but by far and away, the best catch since we've arrived in the park is a massive Corsola. Let's not talk about Corsola with Vasa. Go and see his video. It, will it be up tonight? My video will not be up tonight. And your video, something else will be up tonight? I don't know. Uh, I dare not tomorrow, ask. Tomorrow, <laughs> I'm not going to get home till about 9.30. Oh, you should have brought your laptop down. Edit on the on the car journey. I'll oh, seriously. No. Have you seen my MacBook? <laughs> yes, you program it with um, hay and straw, yeah, I think. It's in life support mode a lot of the time because it's eight years old. Look, it's the biggest like course that I've ever seen. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. just, I'll bleep that out. You won't have to, you have to go and see his video to find out what actually happened. You literally haven't seen a single Jang Moa here since we arrived. Oh, no, no, there's one right there. I'm talking rubbish. It's not wild shiny. It begins with J. And it's shiny. Yes. Our second Jang Moa is from the wild people. And, uh, well, I don't need to credit anybody for the egg hatch, which is wonderful. So, yes, our first actual shiny. Ooh, there's a, there was a hole in the pavement. First actual shiny of being in Kensington Gardens is the Jang Moa, the brand brand new one, which is amazing. Any good, no, it's one star, but oh, so good. Zerkatry, oh, Zerkatry, any Zerkatry I'm down for. Literally any Zerkatry, I don't care where it's from, who it's from. I'm not going to lose this shiny because I think incense spawns can be problematic, but it is a shiny Rockruff. Oh, shiny Rockruff, nice. As you know, Ian, incense spawns could run away on the old they AR can. glitch. can, yes. So because incense is boosted to one every minute, You're which using is- using the wrong ball, you should be using a great ball. Look, stop. It's a critical catch, that's all that matters to me. But it could be the dust. <laughs> It's not. No, it's not. That's all right, I already have a shiny dust form. Doing one of two lucky trades we have lined up. Well, three if we can find newcombs dotted around here, but doing a trade with Ash and we'll see if we can do Necrozma swaps. And I have two 2040s from New York, which are perfect. 2104 is the lucky Let's go, number. dude. Schlundo, because you actually got a Schlundo in New York. Yeah, soon. You? Thank you, Sue. A bit of tropious Schlundo action, which was amazing to behold, but fingers crossed, mate. 
Oh, yours is a beast ball. Oh, that's... I haven't got a shining across me yet today, but let's see. 2104, no. Oh, yes! Schlondo! No way! What? He, he passed his Schlondo luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Wait, consistent Schlondos. The, uh, yeah. Saying this, the, the Schlondo man. luck is working its way through people because you, got, you got yours from Me? Mark. Yeah. I got it from no, Al. You got, got it from him. I got oh, him okay, as well. So, I got him so as Ash well. is just handing them out. Literally handing yeah, them out. Happens. Why are we not lucky? Okay, I need to buy you a drink <laughs> or something, dude. Thank you so much. How did yours end really, up? It's bad. It's bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine's like, well, that's fine because I'm good. good. I'm not going to be that self indulgent, but. Max it. Oh, my days. Yeah, 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 it has to be done. Now you've... Nice. Like, come yeah, on, it has well. to be done immediately. Schlondo Necrozma. The question has Beautiful. to be you've is it just... going to be Dusk Mane or Dawn Wings? Oh. You've just made my video, by the way. Thanks for the fun. Easy. <laughs> Kensington's not that bad. No, we were just, oh, yeah. we were just bitching about it. And first lucky say. trade back in the UK is. A Schlundo. I think it's got to be Dust Main to do that one, but dude, thank you so much. Enjoy. With the Beast Ball. We will. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's now the final hour of GoFest Day 1, and it means Crab Brawler Biome is back. Dwayne and I have decided to hold off on our lucky trade, and um, good old Newcombs has disappeared somewhere else in a different part of London, so we'll wait for our lucky trade then, but I didn't do too much on that one. And it's the Moon Crown, but not the shiny we need. We need the female Moon Crown, come on. We're now back in Walpole, decided to do a random cell of Steeler Raid, and it's decided to sparkle on us, which is lovely. That's the first ever shiny cell of Steeler I've got with the Beast Ball. I see the remnants of some of the crew here who've clearly slacked off for the rest of the day, but it's all good. Shiny Celesteela, no background and obviously local raid, very poor indeed, but a party challenge has been completed! Damn it, not shiny, come on research, crab, not shiny unfortunately. But there's not too long left to go, although it seems that the raids do continue a little bit on, which is lovely to see. So we've got a selection there, there's a circuitry at Lamas, my remote into that to be honest. Oh god, my leg, I can't feel my leg. This is how he gets around now. That's a rock and roller move right there. But six o'clock obviously signifies the end of Global Go Fest day one. And we have a research task still to check and a couple more to do. Crab Roller wouldn't have been shiny, but that's not a problem. And the remote game is on for tonight. So shiny wise, oh, do we only get 30? <laughs> Minus the uh, Ferramosa from yesterday. I think we got 28 shinies today, um, which isn't like amazing because Nikin got 42. But that shows if you're clicking on everything, going absolutely ham for it. We were kind of being selective, trying to get the things that we wanted, and we got a lot of what we wanted. We got three of the four different Pikachus, both Sun Crowns and one Moon Crown, two Jang Moos, one from Eggs, one from the Wild. An extra Ducklet isn't a bad thing. An Espeon is a spare one, which is lovely. Uh, what else? Another circuitry. The rest of it is kind of spare and going, but top top thing for the day and I know you would have seen it really recently but thank you again Ash for that lucky trade. I was there when he got his Schlunder Tropius from Sue at the rooftop bar at the Moxie Hotel in New York on 4th of July. He's passed on that Schlundo luck to me which honestly is a better mon I can't think of one because we have Schlundo Dusk Main waiting to happen tomorrow which is going to be insane and something i did check we managed to pick up a nundo gligar from god knows where fantastic you can let me know in the comments below how your day one of global go fest went did you pick up any of the shinies that were seen at the irl events were you like nakeem i think nakeem's the only person i've heard of today who's got unknown shinies from the day which is incredible let me know your shiny total let me know your raids etc let me know everything to do with this global go fest thank you so much for tuning in and uh, well i'm going to invite some people to this raid so honestly day one has been a blast it's been oddly sort of relaxed and getting a bit of the stuff that we really needed which i said before which is fantastic so if you enjoyed this video please consider hitting that subscribe button and also throwing a like down on the video as well and of course thank you so much to every single person who's on the patreon squad Again, you guys are the people who continue to make this whole thing a possibility and your tear up support really does mean a lot. It means we can continue visiting places for live events, we can do live streams and bring you constant content and entertainment. So each and every one of you, thank you so very much. Now, all there is to look forward to is tomorrow. And if I can get my acting gear, we'll have back-to-back -back GoFest Day videos, which I'm looking forward to. It is Dust Main and Dawn Wings Necrozma hype tomorrow with a bit of spawn kind of catch up. We need one more of the Pikachu and one more Jang Moa and one more Crab Brawler. So three wild spawns to be chasing, plus as much solar and lunar energy as we can possibly muster, as well as perhaps 
another Shundo. But let's see what the remote Ray game is going to bring us over the course of the evening from the Americas with their potential circuitry invites. Fingers crossed for some Shundo circuitry like I don't ask too much, do I? But if you enjoyed this video, please go and check out either one of these other bits of content available on your screen right here. There's some great stuff because we went to New York City Go Fest this year and the year before, and we got a lot of good stuff over in the Big Apple. So definitely go and check that out as well as some other bits of content. I greatly appreciate your support, but until the next time, do take care.